well this is day 12 working on this old truck it's uh like nine o'clock at night because we just got out of church and just got home and uh, heard a good lesson on uh, christ being our great high priest uh, michael done a great job i'll put a link to our church's uh, youtube channel um, in the description but uh we're going to change these spark plugs on this side other side i learned that it's a lot easier to take the heat shields off you can get your sockets to fit in there so i'm gonna loosen up all these header bolts take the heat shields off and then get these spark plug wires out We just changed all the plugs. We had started and got this for the other night. Got this for tonight. And uh, we'll see if it'll run again. Let the let the fuel pump run one one run through Gardner. You know how to do it. Alright Gardner, go for it. Yeah. Something having the alternator hooked up makes the headlights work. Wow! Does the dash light light up for that? Let's see if we're drawing the battery voltage down. So we got low beams 
I won't see anything. You still don't got no dash lights. Why the low beams not work? Push the button forward. Push the light button forward one notch. All the way in. All the way out. Very weak. No horn. Don't know. We'll have to figure all that out. Okay, truck update. I'm gonna let it sit here and run. And it's got a little leak here on this exhaust, so it smokes a little bit off the exhaust. But that was the temperature sensor right there. We've unplugged it and plugged it, and it turns the gauge on and off on the dash. But we do have a good temperature. The oil don't work, but the temperature does. So the oil gauge is still pegged out. I'll have to figure out that next. But I feel like that's the only, uh, only thing on the dash we didn't have working. They see we got the lights working? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's just the high beams. There's still something going on. What did you tell me? Yeah, it's always <laughs> stays in one bar. It's always it's run for five minutes then, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it, every time you crank it, it always goes back to one. What time is it? Let's see how you set the old clock. There's the set button. Set. Does this turn? This turn? See? That goes up. It's like 908. There it's we go. Set. There you go. That's how you set it. You click scan for the hours and seek for the minutes. Yeah, that's how you set it. Plugging connectors on and off, and we've got the left side, well, passenger side headlight uh, as bright as the driver's. The low beam still is not working in the can't get my cab or my roof lights to come on or the dash lights on the inside battery still charging still under 200 or under 210 sorry I'm holding that in the bad spot It's ran for about 10 minutes. We're gonna give it oil change tomorrow. And uh, yeah, and cut it off. Yeah. Don't turn it the wrong way. <laughs> All right, so we turn the hazards on. We got those corners. This will not work. Missing this one over here. See if you can find a wrench to uh, take them out. That's not normal. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's very weird. It's probably one of those right there. These right here. It's not round though. Look at here. We just wiggled the wires, pulled the bulb in and out, and it started working. A wrap for tonight. The end of day 12 working on a square body crew cab Chevy truck. Is this your oil supposed to look like this?
This should be day, or night 13, working on the truck. Just changing the oil. All right, I'm doing my best to video this. It is dark and it's late. I just put the oil, that thinner oil, back in the top of this engine to try to flush the bottom of it out. It's so gross. Okay. In the next episode, we drive the truck, but you'll have to watch the whole thing to see why it takes us an hour to get back into the driveway.